Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. Okay, I'm gonna try number three attempt with the Deco Art Americana line. This time there is no alcohol in there. Um, I put alcohol in and it got kind of lumpy. So I mixed some more. This is one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and a bit of my 90% water, 10% Floetrol mixture. No silicone. But we are still going to get cells. Yes, we are. All right, so the colors we're using today. I have Ultra Blue Deep. Purple Pizzazz, Citron Green, Bahama Blue, and I am going to put down a base coat. This is a mix of white with just a touch of the Ultra Blue Deep. I'm trying to move away from white as my base coat unless I have white in the mix, which I have not been doing as of late, except for my opal pour. Um, because when those cells pop through, then they're kind of distracting and I have to go in and touch them up. And So this way, if a color pops through, if your base coat pops through, it still fits within the color family. And um, you can also just use the lightest color in your in your mix. That will work as well. Piping bag. I'm having so much luck with this piping bag with getting cells. It's almost impossible to not get them. So I put the tip in. This is just like a whipped cream tip. Um, you could probably really use anything as long as it's not flat on your surface. Twist the bottom and flip it up so that the paint can't leak out. And then pop it in your cup so you have a surface you can pour. Now hold your bag for you. Okay, so since this is going to be my base coat, I'm just going to put a touch, just a touch. This Bahama Blue is an opaque, and this is the one that will be falling to the background. So, nice healthy dose of that. And let's see. Let's do the purple next. Do the blue. One of the things I like about using the piping bag is that the patterns tend to come out somewhat uniform. And then the green. And I'm not covering this whole canvas 
because this is a lot of paint. But I do want to make sure that I get my edges and cover up that spot that I touched. This way, when I get cells on the edges, I have a better chance of keeping them. It really does make it easier to spread your paint and control your composition. Without a base coat, the bottom layer of paint sticks to the canvas and the paint that is on top will roll over it. So you will lose what's happening on the edges. You wanna reach in and grab your tip, control that sucker, put your tip on the center of your canvas and just let it do its thing. Okie dokie. Let's pop some of these bubbles. Okay, let's tilt this baby. Which way do I want to go first? I'm going to go this way because I want all of this to stretch and get bigger. Slowly, of course.
recenter your paint before changing direction. That will help you keep the shape of your cells. I probably could have actually used more paint, surprisingly. Well, if you can see these little squigglies, that is because my base coat is not the same consistency as the other paints may have been too th thick. I'll just go help this along a bit. I actually think these paints were a little thicker than what I would normally do. Alrighty, here it is. It's been sitting for a bit. More cells have popped up. Interesting cells, definitely different than the basics or the artist loft. They kind of mix together more and they get on the edges. We'll see if I can a little bit fractal action. They kind of look like pansies. Anywho, so there it is. You can definitely get cells without silicone with Deco Art Americana craft paint. They're just different than, um, than the basics for the artist loft. I will be doing another test uh, eventually, mixing the Americana line with uh, Basics or Artist Loft because they are, the Americana line is matte and I suspect that if I mix the Americana line with a known uh, background for the basics or artist loft, uh, that I will get cells with the Americana line. We will see. So that'll probably be tomorrow's video, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. 
I hope you have a beautiful day. Go make some art.